welcome to Seashorn's vlog and we are in Harry's Bar at Resorts World on Centaur so we're going to grab a quick drink because we've just finished our Universal Studios day. Check out that video, the link's in the description. We're going to have a drink here, go and get freshened up and then go do a bit of exploring, possibly the Vivo City. I think so. For food and drinks, that's what we want. Maybe a little bit of shopping, but mainly food and drinks. Yeah, yeah, well, it's birthday food and drinks, so it's my choice. Yeah, <laughs> let's try my big drop pint, and you've got a mojito. Mojito. Mmm. There's a little bit of fruit to that, but it's actually quite nice. How's your mojito? Cheers, Cheers babe. Like a mojito at home, not the mojito I had yesterday was very different, which was really nice. Good way to start the night. Ooh, bags. Bags. Never mind that. This is expensive shopping here. It was all too well. We finished our drinks at Harry's. And we're trying to find the casino. Oh, no bags. Look. And Caroline's getting far too excited about <laughs> luxury items. Luxury items. Yeah. I always get excited over luxury items, but I never buy them. <laughs> I love a bright Oh, please. yeah, you wanted a bright lint. Gary would love a bright as well. We'll see if we can get one from uh, Pedaling Street when we get the quarter. Yeah. It's more our, more our pricing. Hotel Aura. Ooh. Can't film in the casino, so we can't no. show you that. We're trying to go to the casino. Oh, look. We'll tell you about it, though. Yeah, we'll tell you about it. I told Sean we've got to put nine. Oh, look, there's so the we, casino We've got to put sign. ten on nine black. Oh, it's really? my birthday. Yeah, casino yeah, we'll there. Go. Down there. Ten on nine black. Well, we went for a little visit in the casino. We won some money. Yeah. So I only wanted to go in, like I said, for nine and black. Sean decided he was going on. That's not a, it's nine and red, Caroline. I keep telling you this. But I said I wanted, nine, I, said I, I wanted nine and black. Uh-huh. What? Me. Why are you betting against yourself? What? Do, always. <laughs> always, but, so what did you, what did? We went, we had a little play on the slot. Lost 110. Which slot was that though? Some, all, all aboard. All aboard. Put in west. another 100. Won the 200 and odd, odd back. Went onto another machine, gained a little bit more, then went on the roulette table, yep. did nine red, 15 on nine red, 15 on 31 black, which is mine, and 30 on black. Black came out, so we got the money back, broke even on that. Did the same bet again, nine red came out. So you uh, waving all the money, you got a coin. Got a coin? Yeah. yeah. So we've made how much profit? 530 in, in 20 cents, the little coin. As a, as a little win, and that's when you leave the casino after having a free soft drink. Yeah, yeah. that was fairly painless to get in actually. Um, you just need to show your passport and your ICA email, and then you can just go in. And in there, there are a lot of slot machines, but they're nearly all of the Chinese games. There's very few of the like all aboard and lightning links. Most of it is the Chinese dragon type games, and loads and loads of tables, including some dice games I've never seen before. Yeah, Pi something. Something. Pi Sin Dun. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we need to head back go and to spend that money. Head back to the motel. Freshen up and, and head over to Vivo City. Yep. We've come over to Vivo City, as promised. We're gonna have a look around, do a little bit of window shopping, get some food, check out the food hall. It's Food Republic here, which I've heard good things about. So we're gonna find some good food, I hope, from me and Caroline, veggie food and meat food. And yeah, have a look at, have a look at the shops and check this place out. It's the biggest shopping center mall in Singapore. Maybe not, but we will find something else, I guess. As we come out of the lift, the first shop we see is Bath & Body Works. <laughs> Maybe we should avoid this one just yet. Maybe, we'll yes. Have a look elsewhere. Prada maybe instead. <laughs> Prada instead. Maybe. We'll, we'll come back to your Bath & Body Works, don't worry, we'll come back. This is a well-being sofa. Do you think we can fit it in the suitcase? 
<laughs> wow, all work liners. There's some really nice ones here. But I don't think it'll go in the case. Have you seen what happens with those? Your oh. legs go in them. Wow. We're not here to buy sofas. <laughs> Sushi so maybe? I could buy a restaurant up there. And there's a barbecue restaurant somewhere. Look, look at them all. Yes. Let's not look at sofas. <laughs> Zara behind us, Tommy Hilfiger. It's like every makeup and perfume company has their own stores, literally. Yeah. There's a the clock shoes. Uniqlo is more my speed because I don't think we can afford M&S here. <laughs> ben and Jerry's, I can have ice cream. Oh, Japanese restaurant up there. There's a Japanese grilled fish restaurant. There's Jollibee's up there. Oh, I think we need to go upstairs, Caroline. We do. It's where the foods is. Fair price, that's what I like to pay. A fair price. Shall we see what the British pub does? Yeah. The Queen and Mangosteen does scotch eggs. I like <laughs> scotch eggs. So they'll have chicken tikka masala. Not a fan of that. There is loads of restaurants in here. Loads. A lot. We want the food court and food republic's close. So we're we need trying to, to eat pick cheap. a restaurant. Yeah, well, we're definitely trying to eat cheap tonight. But that isn't Shake Shack. That isn't Shake Shack. Loads of Japanese. Chinese, English, oh, Me here? English Mexican, Mexican, loads of coffee shops. There's a light, light Poulet, seafood restaurant. French roast chicken restaurant. Poulet and, behind there's us. There's actually a few Oktoberfest bars and restaurants as well. Uh, yeah, Caroline now wants a pretzel for some reason. <laughs> Caroline wants to be a cheese pretzel, is that what you're saying? Let's go upstairs. Check out what's upstairs, yeah. So many. Spoil the choice. Do you want four fingers, Caroline? No, I don't do chicken, Sean. Ah, I forgot you were a vegetarian. So we're picked here. Which is actually... I don't want to offend anyone, but... Daji? Is that the name of the restaurant? It's a taste of Taiwan. This is where we're picked? Yeah. You give it a try? How would you say that? Daji da 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 or Dajai? Yeah. We'll ask them. Yeah. We've placed our order. It's come to 55... 54. 54 dollars. This is what we've ordered. I've ordered pan-fried chive dumplings, but they come crispy. Um, Caroline's got spicy sauce noodle, which is a, is a fish spicy sauce, fish-based spicy sauce, so we'll see what that's like. Took a little bit of effort to try and figure out what Caroline could eat on the menu, which I think we'll probably find at a lot of places, and being pescatarian, but who doesn't like prawns and things like that. I don't know, you might have to just run with some dishes and hope that they are vegetarian. Cold water for you, iced yuzu tea for me, which I'm going to try a yuzu tea. Um, original egg roll, that's Taiwanese mine. egg roll, that's for you. And I went for scallion oil chicken noodles. Scallion oil. So we'll see what that's like. And if we don't like any of this, Burger King's not <laughs> I was going to get the green Szechuan, is that right? Get green Szechuan dumplings, but they were sold out, so they must be very, very interesting and, very and liked. Yeah. I went for the pork and chive. I hope they're good. How's your water? It's, it's water. One original egg roll for you. Hmm? Give it a try. Oh, you want to take a picture before you actually... I took a picture. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. You want to see that picture? Let's see if I can pick It'll it up. It'll be on Instagram. Let's see if I can... See Sean vlog. It's just an egg in like tortilla, isn't it? It's got, spring onion. it's got some sauce on. It's got, I, think it's got, I don't know if it's got cheese in it as well. It looks like cheese, yeah. It looks like it's there's cheese some, in there. It's got some sauce on it, which I'm not sure what the sauce is, but it's, it's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. There was an option on the menu to have the sauce on the side and no sauce, and I just left it as original. That was the same for all the dishes. You could have the sauces separate, and I just left Should them. Should I try? As they go. Sure. Can you work out what the sauce is? You know, that reminds me of pancake day. Pancake. Perhaps that's what that reminds me of. <laughs> the noodles have arrived. Those are Caroline's spicy noodles, which do not look like the pitcher, because the pitcher, they're all dark. But these are light. I guess you might need to mix it up a little bit. We're just tasting the sauce. That's fine. Yeah? Do you think that'll be, that's better than the one that was anchovy sauce? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fine. 
What does it taste? Is it spicy? Spicy. Do you know there was an option to make it extra spicy? You wouldn't need to make it extra spicy. No. I've got some sambal chili there to go with mine. And there's my scallion chicken noodles. Smells nice. It smells quite soy, saucy. Not so unsurprisingly. I don't really have, it's like a, just a little bit of soy sauce on the bottom. On uh, I've got a bit more than you then. Yeah. I am not a fan of chicken skin. You are So I won't be eating that. Take the chicken off it. That's what I'm doing, yeah. Okay, come the uh, dumplings. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's try a bit of the chicken there. Dumplings are done. I don't know how they've done that, but the chicken tastes like I'm eating a chick, uh, a spring onion flavored chicken. Like I know it's scallion oil chicken, but how have they got that through the piece of chicken? Probably marinated, that's why. That's like, that's amazing. Look at these dumplings. That's Sean's dumpling. And I've got more chili sauce and some ginger to go with them. I need to try these, but. Do you want a spoon or anything? Oh? No. What, just to break it up? That's why I said you want a fork. I'm just gonna grab it. They're hot. I'm so good at the uh, they are hot. green Szechuan ones when I'm... Oh, oh yeah, nice, nice and crispy. Don't make me jealous. Mmm. These are... I can't eat that just yet. Oh, Too hot. Too hot. Right, while I'm waiting for this to cool down a second, let's try my yuzu tea. Oh, that's nice. Is it made with tea? It's like drinking soap. <laughs> it's got loads of like fruity bits in it, but it's like it's like drinking soap. You don't like that. No. Not for Sean's taste. I'll drink it, but right, let's try this. Just raw as they come. They are. They are delightful. Get some chili sauce. Is that pickled ginger? Yeah, pickled ginger. This um really full of chai flavour. Mm. That was absolutely delicious. The chicken, the scallion chicken noodles that I had. Beautiful, the dumplings were fantastic, especially all the crispy bits. Caroline really enjoyed hers. But we're now gonna go for a drink. I think we're going to Oktoberfest. Maybe. We need to pay the bill. We do. And then vamos. Vamos. Seeing as we're finished with food, we've come to one of those German bars that we uh, passed on the way, the um, Brotzeit. Brotzeit. German beer bar and restaurant. And that went for a Warsteiner uh, premium German beer. It's all right. Is it, is it wet? Is it fresh? <laughs> it's cold. Is it hot beef? Not really. Not really. Not really, no. It's very wet and, wet and tasty and... Just what you needed. Mm. Cheers. So we're finished in the German bar and now we're going to go to the British pub and have a beer in there as well. It's not happy hour, unfortunately. Although it should be because it's quiet. It's not happy hour, but we're still going to have a drink. And we're sitting out along the waterfront. That's Sentosa over there. That's Resort World over there. We've ordered our drinks, but just to give you guys an idea of the prices, 
18 to 24 for these cocktails here. 22 for the uh, coolest of cucumber, which Caroline's getting. But these ones are on the happy hour. So the happy hour costs $2 more, but you get two instead of the one. And I've went for the hurricane in honor of Jimmy Buffett. You enjoying your evening? I am, it's been a lovely day, a lovely evening. That's nice. Really refreshing. Smells of cucumber. Got cucumber in the shop? Yep, nice. So it's my hurricane. Mm. What's in yours? Hurricane. And we finished our evening at Vivo City. We're back at the hotel. We certainly are. Yeah, that was nice to have a, some nice food and a couple of drinks in two different bars. A few choices for bars there oh, look, on the on the um, on the river front there. Yeah, I was going to say a little tip is you when you're inside Vivo City and you see the restaurant, and it says restaurant and bar. Don't just assume that's that because actually on the outside where the the water is, there's They've actually bars. bars. Yeah, on, the on, outside, on a lot of them. Nice. Outside areas, very very nice. That's and also we found out there's happy hours as well if you get there. Turn yeah, always always watch out for the happy hours. Generally about seven o'clock mark with the show on affairs. Yes, I'm now quite tired. I'm quite warm and I need a shower and a sleep. Yeah. Because in the next video, we move hotels. We do. We do. We're moving to Marina Bay. Not Marina Bay Sands. You keep saying Marina Bay. We're going to Marina we are, Bay That's Sands. the area. That's the area. It's out of our price range. Yes. We're going to somewhere that's half the price. We don't have. Well, slightly less than half the price. A big vault of money. No. Catch us. Gaz. Give me the memories. Catch you later.